Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be testing a new emulator I haven't tried on my iPad Pro M1. I will be testing some Dreamcast emulation. The emulator of choice for the test is Flycast. This is Flycast. Flycast is a multi-platform Sega Dreamcast emulator available on Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Android, and Android devices. Flycast offers everything you look for in an emulator. Graphics upscaling, custom texture, safe stage, and more important, the nostalgia of playing your favorite classic games. In order to use this emulator, you're going to need two files after installing the emulator. These two files are flash.bin and the boot.bin. These are the BIOS file for the emulator. Without these files, your emulator won't work. Due to copyright issues, I will not be providing download links to these, uh, to these files. You can dump these files using your original Drink Assistant or do a quick Google search and I should you be able to find it. The following tools are essential in order to run this emulator. You will need to silo the, silo the app using Alt Store. I have a link down below in the video description on how to do this. You also will, will need to use Alt Store Alt Jet in order to run this emulator. This emulator does need to use Alt Jet in order to run it. If you will try to run the emulator without this even having the BIOS file, the emulator just straight up will crash. I will link these tutorials down below in the video description so you guys can see how to get started. I had two tutorials for this. Is one is setting up Alt Store in Alt Server. That's one of my latest video. And the other one is a uh, original video that I made using my favorite side loading app, Alt Store, and using my favorite JIP app, Jitterbug, to get this running. So I'm gonna have both of the videos down below in the video description. After you have everything up and running, you will be able to enjoy your classic games in this emulator. But now that we're done with the basic introduction, it's time for us to actually start playing some games. So let me real quick, let me switch back to the screen. And I'm gonna be testing a couple of games. I already played around with this emulator. And so far I've been very impressed. And I was like, okay, the Dreamcast was actually underrated because i'm very surprised with the performing of it and and to be honest uh, i'm being like really happy with the performance and looking at the graphics and um without doing any type of upscale it's like yes this emulator was like ahead of its time i, I have a couple i mean this uh console was a little bit ahead compared with the ps1 i have a couple of games in here that you guys can see i had Dino's Crisis, Spider-Man, it was one of my favorite games. And I have this game called Zombie Revenge. So we're gonna start playing with Dino Crisis. And also, let me show you something real quick. When you had the BIOS file, you could actually do this with the emulator. You could boot into the BIOS file and get that nostalgia song. That nostalgia sound when you go into the BIOS. And you could check all the settings. You could play from here, but it's gonna ask you to insert the disc. So if you wanna do this, and right now we're using a controller for this. So let me show you right now. If I press on my controller on the settings menu, we could eject this, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna press again, insert this. And then we're gonna select the game that we wanna boot. You always gonna be booting the one that says that's C-U-E when you hit, get your games into the emulator. So we're gonna boot that one. It says please insert this is checking and check this out it's gonna start doing the boot up after this this is nice there you go after it's checking for that you click on play again and boom it's booting up the the game the way we select it so you basically get getting the whole experience in a way and I'm so impressed with this one because I actually tried this game on the Retro R Dinos Crisis and I tried it with the upscale options that they have over there. And um, I don't know, it's gonna look kind of weird. So maybe uh, I will do a comparison video so you, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Even compare, you can find some YouTube videos comparing the original release of this game on PS1 and comparing it also with the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast version is the superior version. 
So we're gonna create a new game. And real quick, let me go to settings so I could show you the settings that I have uh, enabled here. We're gonna go to video. So these are the settings that I'm using right now. And showing the FPF counter down here. So it's showing that. Nearest neighbor. neighbor. And yeah, uh, I don't use any widescreen hacks because the default for these games, uh, for these all games, is four by three. The iPad Pro M1, the aspect ratio is four by three, so I don't need to do any changes. So I could keep it natural. And right here for the internal resolution upscaling, I have it times six. That's four K. So I'm running the game at four K resolution. That's around 4K resolution. A little bit more than 4K, but you get what I'm saying. So it's around 4K resolution. So after that, let me go back to the game so you guys can see. This game looks like really good compared with the emulator on retro art. Because we kind of a little bit limited on the emulation with the cores and retro art. Because if you try to download it as retro art version with all the cords, is it will not open, it will crash. So I have one of my um, down below in the video description. I'm gonna have a link with all what I thought that I made with essential files for your emulation needs. But once again, it doesn't have any copyrighted material, you just have the apps all curated. I found it, I have all the apps in order so you could ask and try. And I have a version of RetroArt that is compatible. So I have all of that in the video description below. But the cores that they have over there is uh, it's not it's not as good for the PS One. Like my favorite my favorite PS One core is uh, made by Dock Station, and it looks exactly like the Dreamcast emulated. Look exactly like this, nice, creepy, and crispy and beautiful. That's why I like this. Uh, I started liking this emulator when we started using it. I was like super super impressed. I'm like, oh wait a second, this looks just like using um duct station on my computer upscaling the ps1 games it, it looks amazing it looks amazing as you guys can see i could try i could try um the other games so you guys can see what i'm talking about too and this is up to 4k and then you see at the bottom a uh, left corner the game is locked to 30 frames per second so it's running at 30 frames per second i have a couple of games that are running at 60 frames so i could show you that it could take the uh the full performance of the game on the emulator oh wow that, that looks really clean i like what i've seen so far it looks really clean i don't know if you guys get the same type of nostalgia that i get but um I'm mostly most of the time going like back and forward between all and new games because I kind of like the classics just like this game I haven't beat it yet so don't judge me but anyway you know I, I love playing classic games so as you guys can see this game actually run pretty good so I don't want to try to make the video so long for you guys. I know you guys want to see a couple of videos or a couple of performance play so I'm gonna be switching to another game. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to be switching to another game. I'm going to be switching to... We're going to be switching to... We're going to try... And this game that I have down here, the Zombie Revenge, it actually runs at 60 frames per second. So the resolution is going to be kept the same. It's going to be running at 4K resolution, and you're going to see that the game is going to be running at 60 frames per second. So we're going to be running this game right here. Now we're going to click on play. You could do, you could load this normally. I just do this because I kind of, I don't know, kind of look nice when going to the UI and boot the game from there. So that's the only reason why I do that. <laughs> but now let me, let me show you real quick. This game is actually run at 60 frames per second. So you're going to see the difference. The other game that we were playing before, Dino's Crisis, is locked at 30. So that's why it was running only at 30 frames per second. But this one, I tried it before and I was so entertained that I forgot to make the videos a couple of times and not only that so i apologize for the inconvenience i know you guys have been waiting for the videos but i have an issue with my ipad that my storage was glitched so i had to wipe it down and restore it from the backup and install all my emulator apps again that's what i was doing for the few days fixing some stuff around and i finally got everything up and running again so i apologize for the delay on the video but thank you for your patience i appreciate you guys thank you so as you guys can see in this game, look how nice and crispy this look.
When I started like playing some of the games here, I wasn't, I was amazed. I like this emulator. Even when you play at a regular resolution, you could, you could tell like it was like it was more powerful than the PlayStation One, definitely. And look how good this this game looks in here. And it's running at 60 frames. It looks really good. Oh, that's the first thing. I've never seen an armor dropping for me before. There we go. I haven't seen none of those dropping. I've been playing this over and over, like test it out. That was the first time seeing an armor drop. Help me! Help! That's not enemy coming from the top. There we go. This one right here. Let's go. There we go. So as you guys can see, this is running at 60 frames, a 4K, and to be honest, it, it, look, it, look, it looks good, man. I'm telling you, this looks good. But now, real quick, I got you. So before anything else, before we run out of time, we're going to try another game. One of my favorite games of all time, a classic, Spider-Man. Man, I love this game. I beat this game so many times. I have it on my disc. Sadly, I cannot play play it like 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 I used to before. The disc is so old and it's scratched up. I made a copy of my on my game on my computer for the reason, but since the game is a little bit too scratched up, is uh, doesn't work properly. So it's kind of it's kind of sad. But but this is a really good game, man. It's a classic game. It's, it's it's a classic man this game is really good and you're gonna see how this look also this looks uh this looks, this looks like nice clean and it looks it looks really gorgeous man check this out this is look nice and clean there you go let's skip the cutscenes and everything so you guys can see the gameplay this actually looks really nice i like how this looks <sighs> Rest in peace, Stanley. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee. Rest in peace, Stanley. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker. Better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. But, Spider but this is just the beginning. You see how the environment looks so clean? You saw how clean the environment look. Look at the character model. But this game doesn't run at a steady 60. I don't think it reached 60. I didn't test it that much because I wanted to save it for this so you guys can see my reaction. But I think this game is like locked to 30 frames per second and sometimes drop below that. I even tried with changing the graphics settings. I think it's just the game. But I think it's just the game, to be honest. It's, it's... Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. I screwed up already. Which one is that? I think it's uh, the triggers. I don't remember which one is it. I mean, the cuts is running at 60, but I think the game is, like I said, it's running only uh, 30 frames per second. Let's see. Don't tell me I forgot how to do this. Okay, let me see. There we go. It's the triggers. Well, so you guys can see, you see how clean his head is looking? And yes, the game is actually a lot of friends for a second. But as you guys can see, you could play all these nice emulating games in here. And I'm I'm being like super happy with this emulator. Again, this emulator, you can find it on Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Android, and iOS. And go ahead and give it a try yourself. And you have iOS devices, I got all the um, 
the tutorials on how to install this emulator using also down below in the video descriptions again uh i'm going to stop the video here thank you so much for watching i appreciate you uh remember to like and subscribe for more and also for you guys thank you so much for your patience and i'm sorry for the delay again and once again thank you for everything